All right. It's uh, about 10 o'clock in the morning on a Thursday here in Memphis, Tennessee in November. And uh, the wall voltage keeps exceeding 130 volts. And I'm using this Monster Pro 2500 Uh, mostly just as a glorified power strip. It offers a slight bit of filtering. Uh, the nice thing about it is that it does shut off power if it goes above 125, as you just saw, or much above 125. And so no amplifiers that I use in this, in my, that's my printer coming back on, no amplifiers that I use in the testing of all my stuff will ever get subjected to a voltage above 126 or so. But um, most people don't have these things, and they don't know what their wall voltage is. And so you have an app that's biased, say, at the Internet recommended 70% idle dissipation. And the, that's at 120 volts or 115 volts or wherever the voltage was when you set the bias because you don't know what the wall voltage is. And then the voltage spikes up. As You know, this was over 130 at the beginning of this video. Um that amp will no longer be biased at 70% and you will have problems and all the voltages inside the amp go up um, quite dramatically in some cases. So bear that in mind. And if you love your amps, get some kind of device that measures your wall voltage. And if you see you know, more than 125 volts, don't use the amp for a little bit. Wait till it comes back down. 